people of the internet, welcome back to the Armbar Arcade and welcome back to the final episode of Heavy Rain. That's right, we are here for the finale. We're going to find out who the Origami Killer is. We're going to solve the murders. We're going to save Sean. And hopefully no one's going to die in the process. So let's get started. Save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. I think Blake's been waiting to do that since the very moment we met him. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. And we've been waiting to tell him that. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. And now we need some drugs because, of course. Well, he's taken tripped over his own accord. We were advised not to take it by his butler, dude. His name is here. Somewhere in this data, I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Everyone's gonna find the killer's name before us now. Oh, one last thing, sir. Ah, here's the butler dude. In our minds. In you know what. I know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. You'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Two receipts from the same gas station. Ah, the gas station receipts. Near the killer's home. Well, what's the address, Norman? The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who there checked we go. it out? We suspect a policeman. That's a good lead. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. So conveniently, when our glasses fell off, they fell the correct way up to record the origami killer trying to strangle us. Oh, I can see a watch in frame. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. It's Larry. Larry's the origami killer. Now it's the watch given to lieutenants when they uh, get promoted. The watch they give for promotions to Lieutenant. The killer is a cop. That's it, Norman. You've got it now. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That's it. It's that Blake. The dead end investigation. I mean, you're wrong, but okay. Ethan Mars. Show me your left breast. What? Your left breast. The killer's got the same gold watch. Everyone's got the same gold watch in this station. And so does every other cop in this precinct who's made lieutenant. Thanks, so Blake. Person who's ever bought one in some shitty mall. What's your fucking point? It's a pretty odd coincidence. What are you trying to say? What are you accusing me of being the origami killer? Yes. No. No, of course not. You know what, Norman? Sometimes I think you have absolutely no fucking idea what you're talking about. Now get out of my face. Some of us have real work to do. I... I can't go on. I can't go on. Let 
me stay with you, Scott. I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days, and I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. Why can't you tell her now? And now they're gonna kiss, because obviously... ...their relationship within this game wasn't that of... ...a private investigator helping someone who killed her son. There has to be some sort of romantic subplot. We're back to uh, the past. Why does he pronounce his G's so badly? Just, the just hang on. Hang on. I'll be right back. I mean, if we know John Shepard drowns anyway, should we just not help? What should we do? My dude, John is drowning. Now that is cold. The kids are still bad at voice acting. I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. And they're getting worse. Don't, don't forget about me, Scotty. Scotty? That's a reveal. So that is Scott Shelby as a kid. His brother John's died and his dad doesn't want to do anything about it. Not only that, he's drowned in rising water. Yeah, I think I see where this is going. So Scott's looking at a photo of himself trying to solve the origami murders that he's done? Maybe? I mean, if this plot's Trying to tell me what it's trying to tell me. Time to light a match, I suppose. And burn it all down. Oh no, just the bin. Oh, we're burning Lauren's letter as well, so that's evidence. And now he's remembering being given the letter, even though we know exactly what it is. That's what I call a clumsy flashback when it's telling you stuff you already know. This is our phone. One thing you shouldn't do with batteries that are in phones is set them on fire because uh, they might explode. Scott Shelby hasn't heard about that. Oh, it's not his phone, it's uh, that lady's phone, yeah, yeah. And then the shoebox that was given to him by the bloke in the convenience store that he stopped from being robbed. More evidence. So really, instead of being a private investigator, he was just collecting all the evidence of... The origami murders. Right, okay. Oh! Well that's solved Manfred's murder, isn't it? So that's the list. That's Manfred's list of clients. It's all coming out now, Scott. And I don't like it. Well, the picture's pretty incriminating. Seeing as he's basically the only person that cares about John Shepard. Apart from her. Ah, so he'd already been to visit her as well, before Madison got there. And he killed Paco, whose notebook on the uh, apartment that he was renting was also taken, so he's gone around clearing all the evidence of the origami murders. So Scott Shelby is definitely the origami killer. That's a big reveal. That fire is terrible. It's ruining the moment. I mean, that's, that's the most 2D fire I've seen in my life. 
Ah, Madison's been led to Scott Shelby, seeing as she was told that the adoptive name of the family that took him in was Shelby, I guess. Time to bust in, eh? She's doing the fallout thing of using lockpicks. And we're in. You haven't lost your touch, girl. It only took seven attempts. The magic of editing. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. That's so here's the trash can. Evidence going up in smoke. Yeah, it's no good to us now, is it? Oh, what's in here? A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. There's something behind here. Oh, there really is. It's Narnia. Nah, no, never mind. Just a drugs lab. Now he's growing orchids. Aha, so there's the real typewriter. That's the Royal Five. So the typewriter that he had in his office was not the Royal Five. That's obviously the note that Ethan got once uh, Sean had been kidnapped. And before Sean had been kidnapped as well, actually. There's some origami that he's made. That's a mouse. Sean Mars. The lunatic's been watching him drown. And he's nearly drowned as well. With rain. Slowly drowning him. There's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Has he gone under? Is that is that it? Suppose we better hurry. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. She's doing very well solving this. It's just she's solving it very slowly and like to herself. Shit! It needs a password. Max, that's what he called all his toy, all his origami dogs. Max, the name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. We've Hurry. solved it. There's no time to lose. At least Ethan already knew that. He's like on his way there while all this is happening. Oh, that's a gun. So you found my little secret. I did. It's over, Scott. Those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. I think we do. We've been through 52 chapters of this to understand, man. Left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. It's not that simple. Oh, she's, uh, she's going in the room with Tommy Wiseau. Okay, we've got to find some, uh... We've got to find a way out here. Alright, let's smash this hollow spot in the wall. Go on, break his oscilloscope or whatever that is. This is a hardcore match of the extremes. I win his bathroom. Apartment is a bit on fire, if I'm honest. We should probably go out the window. I don't know quite what she's got planned here. Come on, Madison. Don't burn to death now. Right, let's play the floor is lava, but the floor is actually lava. Are more fiery rooms. You gotta be kidding me, man. A gas tanks? There we go, we're at the door. It's obviously locked. We got this. Alright, that those those gas tanks are really rising. Let's get all this stuff out of the fridge, cause uh, they're gonna blow, man. You gotta hide in the fridge. 
number one thing to do when something's about to explode. Hide in the fridge. Some like Indiana Jones shit there. That was a massive explosion. Did we survive? We may not have survived that. Oh, okay, yeah, no, we just walked out the door. Don't even worry about showing her getting out the fridge or anything. Sweet, well that's good. So now we're gonna fix a mistake that I made earlier. With Norman Jaden, you were supposed to geo-analyze the clue that the killer was a cop. I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. But he didn't I find out the address, him. so he won't be going to the warehouse. So we've got to call Jaden to tell him where the warehouse is to fix my mistake. However, they've never met. How does she have his number? So listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. Have you got all that? Hold on, how did you No, please, I'll explain later. You can call my newspaper, the American Tribune. They'll tell you who I am. Please hurry. Sean Mars may still be alive. I mean, she goes beyond the uh, call of duty for a reporter, doesn't she? Imagine her trying to investigate, like, a robbery or something. She'd have it sold before lunchtime. Anyway, everyone is heading to 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. She's heading there. Jaden's heading there. Ethan's heading there. It's Friday. It's 7.22pm. There's nearly six inches of heavy rain. Here's the taxi that Ethan stole to drive to this warehouse. He's getting ready to save Sean. In he goes. This is where we've been looking for all along. So once again, we've got press X to Sean. I've been looking for a long, long time, Ethan. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Well, you found one. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then, I remembered you. Remembered? Oh! So he was there when Jason died? No way! <laughs> I need to go back and see if he was actually there, because that is mad. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered! Just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son! He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Great. He looks like he's already drowned. I'm gonna be honest. Man's, man's got a gun out. Okay. Well done, Norman. That's the best thing he's done in this game. Jam it open, come on. Smash it open, Ethan. You come all this way to save your son and you're like, I can't actually do it. There we go. We're gonna save him. We're gonna do it. He's gonna make it. Oh, this is heavy. How's it going, Sean? It's been a while. I mean, I have some questions. If he was in water that long, I think there might be some sort of health conditions and like death that would occur anyway. Because I mean, if you're in the bath for too long, you get pretty like shriveled up, don't you? So, I mean, if you're in water for a week, you probably die. Someone take a bath for a week and tell me if that's true. Meanwhile, Norman Jaden is in danger. In big danger. We gotta do some shaking. 
big QTEs here. If we fail these, uh, we might be in trouble. The climactic final fight. Oh, don't throw the TV at me. Or that. Don't throw anything at me if you can help it. This is like some sort of refuse sorter conveyor belt. Another flat screen TV. I mean, it's better than throwing a CRT at me, but ideally nothing. That's it, push him. Oh, this, <laughs> this is some QTE battle. Take your positions. Suspect is likely to be armed and dangerous. Here's Madison. Ash, are the snipers in position? Yes, Lieutenant. Snipers? Perfect. He won't get away this time. Why have you got snipers? Shows his face. Is that normal? For this kind of investigation? Hey! You there! What are you doing? Pretending to be a cop? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami Ash, killer. what is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Get her out of here. I've literally Get solved away. this. Hey, All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Alright, well, while she proves it, we better get on with uh, not dying. That's it. Come on, we can do this. Oh. The motion controls. Ah. <laughs> right, now he's got to restart Sean's heart because that's apparently some CPR we got to do. <laughs> Come on, Sean, you got to breathe. We've gone through a lot of bother to get you. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty, I'm just saying, like, it's been a ride. Come on, give it a pump. You gotta do it to the rhythm of staying alive. That's what they tell you. There he is. He's alive. What's up, Sean? Oh. Oh. Oh, Sean. Oh. Oh. I thought you were gone. Dad. I knew you'd come and save me. You have no idea how close we came to not coming to save you, but okay. Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. That's it. Cutie. Jump on the bike. Vroom vroom. Uh, uh. I hate these like turny ones with the motion controls. They're the hardest to do while you're sitting down. Like you have to be literally standing up to do proper motion controls. She's a terrible bike rider. What do we do, Lieutenant? Don't Focus shoot! Now. Hold your fire, I repeat. Hold your fire. Madison? Yo, I What's solved the origami on? murders. They're out there. They have the village surrounded. I didn't call you because I knew you knew. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. Don't do that. Before you can open your mouth. Look. We'll all go out together. With our hands in the air, and they can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence, Ethan. What does she actually physically have that proves his innocence, though? I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought. Is he okay? Because he seems pretty, like, thing that is that you dead now. Son. You saved him, but now you're not paying any attention to him. Meanwhile... More QTEs. Oh, we've been... we've been hit, man. That was a pretty bad one to fail. Jaden's experiencing saw the ride there. If 
Fun fact, he's not actually supposed to die. It's just the fact that failing one QTE can uh, kill Norman Jaden. So, uh, sorry about that. My fault. That said, we've saved Sean. Madison and Ethan are alive. Are they going to believe us, though? There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Oh yeah, they found him. Because we didn't. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. Yay, we didn't get falsely accused. Tenacity ...that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the origami killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Despite a citywide manhunt, Shelby has not yet been apprehended. Police are now mounting a nationwide operation in an effort to arrest him. Unfortunately, the investigation has cost the life of Norman Jaden, the FBI profiler working on the case. Jaden was killed while trying to arrest the origami killer in circumstances that remain unclear. He fell into a grinder. Is pending. It's not that unclear. But he was probably the least likable character of the three. I was going to say four, but obviously Scott Shelby, least li likable character of the entire game. A friend, let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. So Ethan and Madison are starting a new life together. I think I found my room. With Sean, obviously he's alive. That's gone pretty well, I think. It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. I don't think we'll be able to forget what happened. And one day it'll all just seem like a bad dream. This entire game has seemed like a bad dream. He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond near Washington. I have to attend as a matter of protocol. Here's the resolution of oh, Jaden's yes. part. Jaden and I didn't see eye to eye on much. No problem. I understand. Turns out no one liked Jaden. Hey, sir, I still have his glasses. What should I do with him? Well, you won't be needing them again. Do whatever you want with them. Put them on. Put them on. <laughs> there we go. Blake's on top of Table Mountain now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's a fun ending. But what about Scott Shelby? What's happened to him? He's still about. Oh no. Oh, that's a problem. None of the families of the victims ever hired you, did they, Scott? Please kill him. I called every last one of them. All you did was collect the evidence you'd left behind. It's clever Call though. Past and feed on the misery of the parents whose children you'd killed. Yeah, that's about right. I swore on my son's grave that I would kill the man who murdered him. She's gonna do it. Nice. Ha! <laughs> So even though we didn't get the best ending, I think that's the best ending. Here we go, these are the credits. Um, Ethan, we didn't do that. We didn't kill that guy, so... <laughs> Maybe this is, uh, what could have happened. 
But yeah, that was Heavy Rain. Um, it had its problems. It's got its plot inconsistencies and some weird bits, some kind of non-genuine feeling bits of emotion, but it's it's got a decent twist at the end. You never really suspect Scott Shelby until about halfway through. You know, it's got a fun sort of detective thread running through it. I've enjoyed playing it again. I've completed it once before this. And obviously with the different endings, Ethan can die, Madison can die, Norman can die in a couple of chapters. So if they don't make it to the warehouse, different things happen. And obviously you get to see the different threads of the story depending on what's actually happened in the chapters preceding. So that's cool. It's not a bad game, it's just a very specific type of game. Obviously QTEs aren't to everyone's tastes. The lack of tangible gameplay isn't to everyone's taste, but I think heavily story-based games can be really fun. Like this this was fun in a lot of ways. Sometimes it was goofy. Sometimes the twists were quite cool. And it's important to enjoy lots of different types of games. So I've had a lot of fun playing through this and obviously editing the videos and just having fun with Heavy Rain. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Leave in the comments your favourite moment from Heavy Rain. Leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you next time in the Armbar Arcade.